Aloha y'all and let's set sail on the 10 at 10 for 11, 16, 2023. I hope you're ready. Hey y'all, I'm Tim, this is my brother Matt. We're the guys at MrMaple.com. We're the crazy tree geeks who love Japanese maple so much. We have over a thousand varieties of Japanese maples. And guys, we add 10 new trees to the website every Tuesday and sometimes Thursdays on MrMaple.com. Wait, that's actually 20. So if you don't know anything about us, check us out on MrMaple.com. And a lot of these trees go live at 10 a.m. That's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can start shopping then. That's right, Tim's a geek. I'm actually pretty cool. We, we put out videos every single day. So if you like cool videos, make sure to be subscribing here on the Mr. Maple Show. There's new content every single day. There's also a podcast, guys. Once a week, we do a weekly talk show about Japanese maples. You can find that on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And thanks for shopping us on Mr. Maple. We definitely appreciate your business. You know, we have an over 95%, off the 98% return rate on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You guys are amazing. You come back, you continue to shop with us. That means so much to us as a small business. You've allowed us to purchase other businesses and continue to grow. And uh, we really appreciate your continued support through this winter. So y'all, if you hadn't been on our website recently, go check out our new updated shipping prices. Guys, we've got super cheap shipping prices. We just renegotiated with FedEx, y'all. And we've got some amazing prices to ship it across the country, here locally. I mean, a lot of local people have been like, well, I might not do pickup anymore. I might just go ahead and ship it to me because it's so cheap. So check out our updated shipping prices if you haven't yet. We got some cool plants today. You can ship to your door. We came in, our FedEx rep was in the office. Jody had him in a figure four leg lock and he was crying. She tagged him in, he dropped the elbow on his head, said cheaper, get the people cheaper rates. We got it going guys. We're down a third in overall cost on shipping for you right now. A tree that was shipping to California for $28. You can ship a one gallon box sometimes in California right now for under $20. You can ship a one gallon in North Carolina for $14. That's 2013 prices. I think it was worth beating up the FedEx rep. I mean, I gave him a few kicks. We, we really got our punches in. Uh, the guy left kind of kind of beat up, but look, our rates are lower. That's really all that matters. Don't call the cops. Let's get into this 10 at 10. We got some awesome two gallons here, y'all. First up on the table, we got a party in your garden with Festival. Y'all, Festival is a selection by Talon Buckholtz. It's a green upright that has some phenomenal fall colors. He said you can call us one Festivus if you want to. Cause, <laughs> but, okay, so Festival is named for having phenomenal fall colors. This is a Talon Buckholz introduction. Actually shares some lineage with the Ghost series. Doesn't have any reticulation to it, but this one throws on an amazing display of reds and yellows, consistently showing both in the fall. Talon, he hasn't made many selections for fall color. This is by far one of his best selections for fall color. He was like, man, this I think could compete with some of the other ones for fall color. And Festival really does that in a unique way, being multicolored with the yellows and oranges in there. Large green palmate Japanese maple that gives basically that summery fill in the garden that people often use in traditional Japanese gardening. You can give a lively fill in the garden, and then when fall hits, you know it's on. When your wife says, guys, no more trees, remind them, Jody put the, the FedEx guy on a figure four leg lock just to get the rates down on these giant two gallons. Guys, we're fighting it out for y'all. What you got on that end, Tim? Guys, we're bringing in a selection from Robert Finchin, one of his favorite selections of all time, so much so that he actually named it kind of after himself, Gold Finch. Hey, stay tuned. They hadn't aired yet. We have two different top five conifer videos with Bob Finchin. We shot those at Bellevue Botanical Garden with him there, and we've got some great content coming out from that Maple Society meeting. Not all maple content. There's actually some top five conifers on the way famous conifer author giving us top five. Y'all, this was found, well, it was hybridized as a uh, hybrid with uh, Pasea orientalis gold drift. And this is the slowest growing weeping golden spruce. So you get everything you love about the, the gold drift, but much slower growing. Give it some sunlight to peak up those colors on this too. A lot of ours have been coming from a uh, sheltered situation where they have 55% white poly over top of them. The sunlight will peak the colors on these things. And it just makes like this really unique, weeping, extremely small dwarf miniature conifer. Love it, beautiful plant to be growing. Great way to add some evergreen interest there in the garden. Let's go back down to this side to some of these two gallons. What do we got here, Tim? Guys, we got some two gallons of Italian Buckholz introduction again. We got spring delight. Ah, uh, this one? I think it's gonna be a delight for you this spring. 
This one is great. It's got that purple border going on in the spring. Uh, you know, this was one talents quit doing as many uh, Veritas, so he does more spring delight. It's a, it's kind of an interesting one with a bright purple border to it, golden fall color. Everything you love about waterfall and Veritas, but a little something extra going on. Yeah, and with that golden, you get the yellows and the oranges in there, so it gives you that real true gold color on Spring Delight. It has a really nice width to it. It doesn't get a lot of height to it, so I really like this tree because it really gets that nice wide, low canopy, uh, canopy sweeping uh, umbrella shape to it. And the purple border and the purple almost like fingernails on this tree in the spring are a true delight in your garden. Yeah, you'll love this one. Some great size two gallons right now. It's not too early to do a little bit of Christmas shopping, y'all. It's, it's right around the corner. If you're thinking about a Mr. Maple gift card for your favorite gardener, but you could get a few of these plants in and surprise them with live plants this Christmas. Nothing a gardener loves more than cool plants. Y'all, next up, we've got Korean Jim. And this is an amazing plant. We're not talking about Korean Jim. <laughs> <laughs> we had a Pseudosobolde and Amtaka cements we had for years that someone had put the name Korean Jim, like so, J-I-M, <laughs> on their name, and they just got things all mixed up. Completely the wrong plant. This one actually comes from Sir Harold Hillier Gardens. G-E-M. Yeah. Korean G-E-M. <laughs> Not Korean J-I-M. That guy might be cool, but it's ain't his tree. So, great plant from Sir Harold Hillier Gardens there in the UK. I went a few years ago. I got to, to meet with the curator and walk around that garden. It was such a fun time. Uh, Sir Harold Hillier really interesting guy. He would actually bring in uh, big plants on rollers during World War II to hide different planes and things. Uh, part of the Queen's Royal Army. Would hide the runway so that people couldn't see where to bomb. Yeah, yeah. So really basically, he basically the, hide whole, whole airstrips with uh, plants on rollers. Just really interesting things. Korean Jim, though, is a seedling there from Sir Harold Hillier Gardens. They have that there in their collection. Uh, beautiful tree, great lush greens, really has some of that that green you like for like cool kind of fresh mint color in the spring, great fall colors too. Sometimes red, sometimes more orange. I have had to get a bit more orange than this. And this is a selection that people just love. They're like, oh my goodness. Now the interesting thing about Korean Jim is there's not supposed to be a lot of Japanese maples outside of Japan. And this was actually a collection from Korea. And that's where it got the name of Korean Jim. And it's so cool because there are some palmatums in China yeah. and in Korea. So wasn't found by Korean Jim, J-I-M though. That was a whole nother plant. <laughs> Great guy, Korean Jim. Appreciate that guy. All right guys, next up we got Lima Gold. Lima Gold. Lima bean, Lima bean, I don't care what you call it. I love this plant. You've heard us talk about it. The original ones in NJ Acer's garden, they all come from that one, they're clones from it. Lima Gold is my favorite of the small leaf Makawa variants. This one gives you some of the smallest foliage with still a Makawa Yatsubusa density to it. We got some great looking two gallons here that add to your Makawa collection. Uh, I think it's probably one of the better of the all Makawa types for bonsai because you got tiny foliage to begin with so you can make it look like a very big tree. Now this was a selection by Dick Wolf of Red Maple Nurseries who introduced Emperor One and he was from Lima, Pennsylvania. We always say Lima Gold though just because we think about like a, a Lima, I don't know, Peru I guess. <laughs> but it technically should be lima gold. I'm saying lima. I don't care. I'm sticking with it. But like Matt said, this thing's got the smallest foliage on a Makawa type. I so love this one. It's man. got everything you love about the tight, dense habit of Makawa Yatsubusa and smaller foliage. That makes it even better than Makawa for bonsai. Y'all, we've got some good size two gallons right now of this tree. In the fall, this one can give you some gold colors to oranges. Even late, typically getting some reds. I mean, this is an amazing little dwarf. And it would have never made it to the nursery trade if it wasn't for, for Dick Wolf saying, here, Ed Shin, and then Ed Shin saying to everyone else in the nursery trade, here, graft this and produce right, this. Right. Great and it, history that's, there. That's how it got out into the nursery trade. Yeah, super cool plant. Special thanks to Ed for this one because it wouldn't be out there without him. Such a fun, compact plant, though. I love this one. Whether you call it Lima or Lima, I, would, I once had a person from up north tell me it should be Appalachian Mountains. I can't even say it like Appalachian Mountains, Apal well, I don't know what you're saying. Well, I just say Lima. Yeah, I think, you, I think you just started a whole controversy right now in the comics. comics. Let us know in the comments section below. If you're from Lima Bean, Pennsylvania. If you're from the Appalachian or the Appalachian. I can't even say it the wrong way. It's like it doesn't even, like my body can't physically do it. Unless you say an Appalachian, I'm like, I just can't do it. I can't, I can't say Appal Appalachian. I don't, I don't know what you say. It, it's not right either way. All right, guys, next up here on the table, we got some sunsets for you. Y'all, sunset is a weeping green lace leaf. And in the fall, you get bright reds infused with oranges and yellow. One fun thing about this, it is a green lace leaf. 
you kind of get these bronzing colors going on over at the spring. You can get some pinks going on there. Now it's not a true green fall color either. You get some reds and oranges mixed into that yellow. Really gives that sunset type appeal. I know it's one of Bill Shell's favorite trees for down in Alabama. Uh, he's been growing this one for quite a while there near Auburn, Alabama, and it's had a lot of heat resistance for him. Also one of his favorite performers for fall. I love the bronze spring color. And I think this one, everyone always talks about that fall color because it's what it's known for. It's very consistent and it gives you an amazing fall color that's a mixed multitude of colors. But the spring color of that bronze color, then going to that nice green feel out in the landscape is outstanding. And this is a shorter lace leaf. We're talking three feet tall, six foot wide. Again, this one is a more wide growing lace leaf. Doesn't get a lot of height to it, a lot more width. Don't let the sun go down today without getting one of these in cart. They're awesome. All right, y'all love we keep bringing these big two gallons. Let's keep it rolling. Ooh. These are some killer Aka Amote. Yeah, we keep bringing this one back, but y'all keep asking for it. This is Acer Japonicum Aka Amote, y'all. And these are phenomenal sizes. I don't know if you can see these. Guys, they might even be on camera. Some of these are easily four foot size trees. They're actually three gallons from Buckholtz Nursery. Excellent tree. This one is an Ace Japonicum with blushing red spring color. I've often wondered if this one isn't a hybrid with Saboldianum. We talked to Sue Weegraf about how Saboldianums can hybrid with Japonicums. And this one gives me a little bit of Saboldianum vibes to it. Uh, amazing tree though, whether you call it Saboldianum or Japonicum, it's durable, it's heat tolerant, it's cold tolerant, it's got great spring interest, has phenomenal fall interest. This one starts going to that red just a little earlier than everything else, so it holds it just a little bit longer as well. And this has been known under the name of Ruby Red. I've seen it under the name of Jim's Ruby Red. I wonder if it's the same Korean Jim. <laughs> God <laughs> naming everything wrong. God naming everything wrong. <laughs> might tell Korean Jim to shut it out, man. <laughs> this is Aka Omote. I mean, that's the real name on this tree. And that, those burgundy flushes in the spring are unreal. It's the most red I've seen on any Acer Japonicum. It's one of my favorite trees. I want to look through more seeds from this tree because I think there's so many genetics out there that can sort of open the world of Acer Japonica. Right, I love this one in the spring though. It really does leaf out to have some blushing pink red colors going on over top of that, giving you something truly different and groundbreaking in Acer Japonicum. And it's got a nice upright growing habit to it too. It's a little bit more fastidious than a lot of the other Acer Japonicums. Also tends to put on a foot to a foot and a half of growth a year. So it's a little faster growing than many of the other Acer Japonicums as well. I'll put this one on par with Emmett's Pumpkin as the fastest growing of the Acer Japonicums. And guys, it keeps giving you color with each new flush of growth. Outstanding all throughout the season and then outstanding red fall color. This is a tree you gotta have in your garden. If you're a fan of the full moon Japanese maples, if you're a fan of Acer Japonicum, you can't go anywhere in your garden unless you plant one of these because this thing is amazing. Guys, don't forget, Tim punched out a FedEx rep just to get you lower rates. So these rates are as good as they're gonna get all year. We've, we've kind of negotiated them down to the max I mean, Tim knocked the guy out cold. I mean, we don't really shouldn't talk about it on camera much, but he did hurt the guy. And it was all to get you guys the best shipping rates possible. So guys, next up, we've got Acer Shirasawanum Plum Wine. Yeah, Plum Wine's great. Uh, you know, we just said we were from Appalachia, so maybe make you a little Plum Wine, sit back and enjoy. Plum Wine's another town Buckholtz introduction. So this is one from that floral wonder collection. Now this one leaves out with some incredible dark burgundy, almost red purple colors going on. Yeah, I mean, it really gives you those plum colors that are unlike the thing colors you find in many other Japanese maples. You often find the burgundies, but that plum color is very unique, especially on a full moon Japanese maple. This is a tree that can get six to eight foot in 10 years, give it some protection from the hot afternoon sun. We may have the original one of these. We've got a fairly yeah, large one actually, yeah. here at Mr. Maple, and it is phenomenal. I mean, it is a very unique tree, very multi-stemmed as it's growing, and it gets that really nice rounded canopy, typical of Acer Shirasawanum's, but you get that plum color as an added bonus. These are plum amazing. They give you a little bit more yellow to orange in the fall as well. And I think uh, this is one that tends to sell out pretty quickly. I know a lot of people have been waiting on this one on Mr. Maple. So check out these plums pretty quick. You'll be plum crazy if you don't get one of these today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from plum puns to black hole. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is a newer selection by Talon Buckholds. It's one of the darker selections of those new ghosts. So it gets that reticulation in the leaves itself but it gives you that, you know, dark, dark, dark color with it. Black hole sure to suck you into your garden. It's an amazing tree. Part of that nebula series of out of this world plants. You're gonna love this one. Uh, black hole really does add a lot. It is more multi-stem than a lot of the other ghost series and new ghosts. So it does tend to be short and dense. 
typically around six to eight feet. And again, more multi-stemming going on. So you get a lot of what you like down low. Great, like fiery red fall color. So this one gets more fire engine red, typically the fall, but it's not uncommon late summer for this one to be almost a dark black color, hence that name black hole, all with those reticulated etching going on all in. Now we recently did a whole video on the new ghost series. And we basically say the new ghost and mine and Matt's favorites of those. Go check out see where black hole falls. Awesome plant. Uh, hope, hopefully uh, we don't get sucked into a black hole. All right, guys, last but not least here, Acer Shirasawadam, Autumn Moon. Yeah, this could fit good with a black hole, right? Man, we got a lot of full moons across this right, table. Right, right, right. Autumn some good moon, stuff here. Always a fan favorite for good reason. Phenomenal spring color, phenomenal fall color. We're a little past fall color here. A lot of things are dropping, but Autumn Moon, always, always popular. Now, J.D. Veritrees in this book says, I introduced three plants. Well, that's not true at all. The more we've learned, he's introduced a lot of plants, and Autumn Moon is one of those plants that he introduced, and he doesn't even give himself credit for it in the book. This is an amazing plant that has just pink uh, colors of overtones over top of this, keep coming across this, malting down over top of the lime green. I love the colors that Autumn Moon can provide in the garden. Oh, great. Orange red fall colors too, so you get a lot going on. Sometimes you get some apricots pushing over top of that. This is one we like to put in a container, kind of move it around the garden here a little bit in the south, find out where it works best for you. I do recommend late day shade, the heat of the south for Autumn Moon, but once you get that right spot for this tree, it is phenomenal. Uh, typically about eight foot tall, even in 10 to 15 years, so a little slower growing than some of the others, but it's popular for a good reason. That Autumn Moon's got that distinctive, large Acer Shirasawadam full moon style leaf. So colorful, so color changing. Glad to have this one back in stock here at Mr. Maple. A high shade canopy works great. Morning sun with afternoon shade often works. Like I said, start out in a pot, find its happy spot, and then plant that sucker and let it get beautiful. Because that's what Autumn Moon does. It's gonna give you a rock star appearance out there in the garden. It's one of those Shira Solomons that is in high demand. And it's because it really has that full moon style foliage and it just draws you in each and every time you see this tree. Awesome plant, y'all. And don't forget, Tim and Jody, they've been holding a FedEx rep hostage for days just to get you guys lower rates. Those lower rates are in full effect right now. If we let them out, they may go back up. So hurry and shop on MrMaple.com. It's a great time to get your Christmas shopping in. It's, it's no joke though. We did turn down $25,000 in cash, not to keep with FedEx. I almost beat myself up over that one. So we, we did actually do that. <laughs> That's true. And stay with FedEx and get those lower rates down just for you. So take advantage of the great savings. shopping for more, honestly. That's the honest, that's the long game with us is you guys will buy more trees at that lower rate. So it pays off more for us in the long run and benefits the business more. Guys, we really appreciate you tuning in today's 10 at 10. Let us know in the comment section if you're watching internationally or the United States, where you're watching from. We'd love to see that. Don't forget, we've been dropping merch Monday. So there's new products of our hats, our t-shirts, all kinds of Mr. Maple gear coming in there on the Mondays. Joe's been getting stuff shipped out to you guys. I really appreciate y'all shopping with us. I think it's extra cool, guys. I'm, I'm humbled and honored that you guys want to wear our gear. Yeah, so y'all, and that's one of the things that's the coolest thing about it. I mean, all, we have all this fun stuff that we have created and then seeing people wanting to wear our hat, seeing people want to wear our t-shirts. Speaking of that, we have a giveaway starting. You can email your designs to mrmaplegiveaway at gmail.com. And it's a t-shirt design for the 2024 competition. And those are due by the end of December. And what we're doing is we're looking for t-shirt designs that are unique and different. You gotta own the, your work. You can't use Mickey Mouse or Snoopy on this, but your own design of the Mr. Maple t-shirt for 2024. And you send those to Mr. Maple giveaway at gmail.com. Y'all, we're gonna have a blast going through and searching through and see who's gonna be well, the winner. Wait, Tim, tell them what they could win. You could win an autographed poster by Talon Buckholtz, plus a Mr. Maple gift card. Guys, we're gonna be giving out this out to any of the people we use the t-shirts from. And this is just a fun way to get you, you guys creative juices flowing, give us cool ideas for t-shirts, and we hope it's a win-win for the whole Maple community. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Take care. God bless. And have an awesome day, y'all.